head. And he's just trying to work something there in a back hill straight to a Notts County player. And that is the final whistle at the end of this one. And unfortunately for Maystone, what seemed to be a very prosperous uh, position we found ourselves in at a later stage of that second half has ended in what it seemed like it was going to for the majority of that first half. Of course, it has resulted in a 5-2 loss. Notts County walking away with three points from this one. Second in the National League, of course, with potentially plenty more to fight for. Uh, depending on the outcome of that Boreham Wood versus Wrexham result. But Maystone here, unfortunately, have found themselves still, of course, uh, unable to win a game in the National League under George Elikobi. Uh, I do believe that is it in terms of uh, home games for him. Hasn't got an opportunity to win another one. That's right. We have, of course, got Chesterfield away next week. So that is uh, no home wins in the league under George Elikobi, unfortunately. Um, of course, I don't think anyone's really surprised at that. We're building for next season now. We've, we've had that outlook for quite a long time. I mean, myself and Connor did speak about that very much uh, earlier on in this fixture too. Um, of course, you know, we're looking to next season. We're not looking to really do much uh, for the end of this season. We've shown a little bit of fight there. We've had some very promising performances from Ryan Galvin, Nathan Jekke and Perry Andalo as well. Regan Booty getting involved a little bit more at points in that game too. Sam Bone, very impressive throughout, I thought. But uh, at the end of the day, Connor, it's not really ended up in Maystone's favour, has it? I can't really hear you, to be honest. I think <laughs> I've lost you out, out in my ears um, ah. on the headset. So what, what am I going to say? Uh, I'm going to say that at the beginning of the second half, I didn't have a lot of hope. And out of nowhere, we managed to get two goals back. And for a very small amount of time, there was Notts County 3, Mason United 2 and I would put it past any of the uh, Notts County fans to say that they weren't feeling a little bit nervous that they could be looking at potentially dropping some points here at Maidstone United team at the bottom of the league already confirmed we could have there was definitely a moment in that where I feel like a lot of people in this stadium felt like we could nick a 3-3 um, a draw or something like that yeah. we were very much so on the upwards and uh, that Sam Bone crash crashing shot against the upright um, for me was uh, very exciting uh, exciting for many people in the stadium and uh, as Maidstone United's ground clears out for the last time this season um, it's uh, Maidstone United 2 uh, Notts County 5 Indeed, of course, and uh, Connor's had a pretty good summary there from a Maystone perspective, of course, looking at the game as a whole. Notts County, the very dominant side for a good 65 minutes of that game. Good first five from Maystone, uh, which was, of course, capped off by that goal conceded by the mistake from Johan Zuma, of course. Uh, unfortunately, they did score once more in the 14th minute. Uh, that obviously set them up for the majority of that first half too. Very impressive first half performance from Notts County. And as Connor said, rightly so there uh, we did assume that was going to be how the rest of the game was going to go it did not end up in that in that way of course uh, Maystone mounted that comeback after going 3-0 down two goals in as many minutes I do believe uh, from Rory Deacon and I can't uh, George Fowler of course uh, who was let's mention again named player of the season at uh, the start of this fixture as well if you are listening to this on the Maystone United hot take on YouTube uh, George Fowler player of the season voted for us by the fans um, Maystone just walking around the pitch now applauding the home support but yeah Maystone fought really well at, at you know a certain stage of this game unfortunately it was not meant to be a uh, five minute period though wasn't it yeah. when we did get yeah, ourselves did. back into the game um, that five ten minutes when we felt like we actually played a bit of football got our feet feet on the ball and, and uh, played the ball around nicely and we had a bit of an exciting, exciting time and for, the, for today and for <laughs> the entire season Maystone United haven't, haven't quite been there but um, you know if that five ten minutes that we had is anything to go by for the next season then let's, fingers crossed we can sort of build on those 5-10 minutes and those players that came on and sparked a bit of um, excitement in the Mason United.